Tea on the Lawn by Robert William Service. A British Canadian poet who, with his sharp wit and a unique style, shows us how a man, for his survival, tries to fool a prophecy but is ultimately defeated by fate. It was foretold by Sibyls III that in an air crash he would die. I'll fool their prophecy, said he. You won't get me to go on high. However, the need for haste and speed, I'll never, never, never fly. Sibyl means an oracle or one who foresees the future. Oracles predicted for a man that he would die in an air crash. He decided that he would never allow this to happen because he would never fly by air, whatever the rush or haste. It is true, he travelled everywhere, afar and near, by land and sea. Yet, he would never go by air, and chance and evil destiny. Always by ship or rail he went, for him no sky plane accident. He did travel a lot, but always by rail or ship, never by a plane. He did not want to risk his life in a plane accident. Then, one day, walking on the heath, he watched a pilot chap on high and chuckled as he stood beneath. That lad, a looping in the sky, feeling so safe and full of glee, serenely he went home to tea. One day, while walking over some uncultivated land, he saw a plane making loops and circles. The man was happy to be safe on land and let the pilot take whatever risks he wanted. He went home calmly to have his tea. With buttered toast, he told his wife, My dear, you can't say I've been rash. Three fortune tellers said my life would end up in an airplane crash. But see, I'm here, so safe and sound. By gad, I'll never leave the ground. By gad means by God. As he buttered his toast, he boasted to his wife that he was safe and sound and never be in an air crash because he would never fly. He would prove the fortune tellers wrong. For me, no baptism of air. It's in my bed I mean to die. Behold, yon crazy fool up there, a cutting capers in the sky. His motor makes a devilish din. Look, look, he's gone into a spin. He further stated he would never undertake any ceremony of flying by plane and wants to die in his own bed. As he pointed out to the crazy pilot performing stunts, the plane went into a spin in the air. He's dashing downward. Oh my God! Alas, he never finished tea. The motor ploughed the garden sod. And in the crash, a corpse was he. Corpse means dead body. Proving that no man can frustrate the merciless design of fate. Even as he said this, the plane came crashing down and the man was hit. He died immediately, without even finishing his tea. Thus, it was proved that man cannot fight against his destiny.